Hi everybody, this is Heather Clark and Abby Clark. Hello. We're here at Running Totally Free and today we thought we'd share a little bird's eye view into our um, homeschool science curriculum. We um, are working on Apologia's Young Explorer series, Exploring Creation with Botany. This is our book. And what Abby's holding is uh, a book that I picked up uh, called Van, Janice Van Cleve's Earth Science um, for Every Kid. That is, it has um, lots of and science this experiments. This is the experiment that we're doing today. That's the experiment we're going to do today. It's where you put vinegar inside a cup and then you put seashells in. Yes. So and just in just yeah. a minute, Abby. They're, they're going to see what happens. There's yeah. Gonna be a so just a minute, Abby's going to lead us through that. But yes. I also wanted to show you the yes. um, the notebooking journal that mm -hmm. also goes with um, Apologia's uh, botany curriculum. This is such a neat, neat um, curriculum or notebook, I should say, because it, within it, and this goes with a lot of their curriculum, not just the botany. They have the children fill out. Um, make pictures, take notes about what they've read um, in each lesson. They have questions that they answer and review. Um, and, well, at least in regards to the uh, plants, they learn about taxonomy. They make drawings of uh, different like leaves and moss. Um, so they're using a lot of the different learning styles. They're also getting a little practice in handwriting. Um, you know, doing some fun review like crosswords. They also have experiments in here, more experiment ideas. Um, I just like to uh, to fill in, you know, with more experiments um, with the Janice Van Cleves. So it's just a wonderful, wonderful resource uh, that just fills in with the, um, my thing is moving here, with the textbook that we use as well. So. I know that I have shared with you guys before that we are a homeschooling family, but I just wanted to give you uh, an understanding of what some of the curriculum is that we actually use. And uh, this is a fantastic um, curriculum that a lot of homeschooling families use and has just been um, an award winner for many years. So uh, um, Abby is going to lead us through an experiment. So Abby, you want to do that? Okay, so um, it says, the, so it says you need three so seashells, vinegar, and a glass. What is so the purpose? So here's our vinegar. Okay. Here's a cup, and here are some seashells. What is the purpose? And it only of says this three. Experiment? The purpose is to determine a positive test for limes for limestone. Good. Okay. So you showed project, us what we need. Project, the procedure. Sure. Okay. Fill a glass one quarter full with vinegar. So um we decided we would just use little cups. So we'll use we'll use about a quarter full, which means about a fourth of the cup. We need to get one of our um measuring cups. Shouldn't we do that? that we can the, do that if you yeah, want. Yeah, you want to get one of that. our quarter that cups? Makes, that makes it easier. Okay. So, so as you can see, I'm not an exact scientist. <laughs> Sometimes I am, but for something like this, I know it doesn't have to be exact. It just needs to basically, it just needs to cover the shell um, completely. So you're gonna look for, no, you have to re now read the cup. See, this is great, because when you're um, eight this years old, you're still cup. learning about measuring cups. This is one cup. But you want the one that says one over four, one fourth. One fourth. No, so hopefully that one's slash, clean. So <laughs> might not be. Four? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now that one might it might not be clean, and if it's not, it's okay. You Got it. you found it. Okay, yep. so we'll start with that. So you're gonna use. Can you? That that's pretty heavy. So let's see if you can if you can pick it up. The vinegar smells good to me. Yeah, Abby likes vinegar. She likes. She actually really likes um, balsamic vinegar, right? Yes, I lick it every day. You can put more in there. When you fill a measuring cup, you usually fill it to the top. I know you're trying not to spill. 
There you go. Good job. All right. So basically your goal is that you want the shell to be covered completely with okay. the vinegar. I think that's what they're... Okay. So are we supposed to put these in? Just go ahead and put one in. All right. Is it on its side? Let's see. Whoops. Is it covered? Can't tell. Does it look like it's completely covered? It looks like it to me. I see little bubbles on that. Okay. Wait, we're supposed to put all three in. Okay. Go ahead. Do you want a little bit more vinegar now since you have three in there? Probably. Okay. Just put one more of these. Okay. See all those so bubbles? So you start to see bubbles. So we're going to read what the book says in a minute to find out what those bubbles mean. Good job. Look at, that. Look at those bubbles. Can everybody mm. see the bubbles? Do I have a camera on the cup? I don't think I do. <sighs> yeah, you do. I do? You do now? Thanks. Yeah, there's the bubbles. Okay. You can't see them very well, but you know. When you get up close, you can. You with, really the, with our eye, you can. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Yeah. See the tiny ones? I saw a big one. I just saw a big one pop. You did you? Yeah. Okay, so Abby, let's read. Read to us what this says. What's going on with the bubbles? What, what does that mean? Results starts rising from the seashells. Why? Vinegar is an acid and seashells are acid? made of limestone. A mineral limestone chemically, chemically changes into new substances, substances. when in connected Contact. with an I Ac acid. acid. One of the new substances formed is carbon dioxide gas, and it is the bubbles of this gas that are seen rising in the glass of vinegar acid can be used to test for presence of limestone in rocks. If limestone is presented is presented, is presented in a rock, bubbles form when an acid touches the rock. Very interesting. So is there is there limestone in those shells then? Yep. Because vinegar is an acid, right? Oh my gosh. The top let's, of that. let's look one more time. Let's show everybody. Mm. Lots of bubbles, huh? Oh, and, now it's really strong. And I don't know if they can hear it. Let's be real quiet. But you can hear it, too. You know what it sounds like? Um, it actually sounds like soda bubbles. <laughs> I'm going to need to fill it some more because the top of that is yeah. popping out. All right, everybody. So that was, um, that's a little bit of uh, just homeschool science. Nothing too fancy today, but... Still a good lesson in learning about botany and um, earth science. And, you know, one of those wow, things you would need to learn cool. about is Here. what kind of minerals are in your soil and uh, limestones out there. And uh, uh, <laughs> Abby's over there tasting the vinegar. <laughs> My daughter, she loves vinegar. She's just like her mom. Um, so anyway, mm, thanks for uh, for joining us for our little homeschool time. I know some of you are um, homeschoolers out there. And so uh, once again, we got this experiment. I know, it sounds disgusting, but we, seriously. We're using the Apologia um, Exploring Creation with Botany. This is the botany, notebooking journal. Botany, and we also are using the botany, textbook. Botany. And we are using Janice Van Cleve's Earth Science for Every Kid. And um, I believe I got this. Um, you can, I know you can get this at Amazon. Uh, so, and most of those books I get um, uh, on the used books section. So, there you go. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Thank you, Abby, for being our teacher today. Mm -hmm. Great job, honey. Yep. All right, we'll see you soon. I'll Bye bye. Bye. Oh, and one more thing we wanted to say is if you liked what you saw today, uh, we'll be trying to um, to do more homeschooling things. And uh, so if you are looking for uh, more ideas for homeschooling, please subscribe below and join us at Running Totally Free. All right, there's a goodbye. Bye. Bye.